I'm at Adirondack Lodge parking. Plenty of spaces left here at uh, about 5.30 a.m. Gotta get it pretty early. But there's a lot of other people showing up. And I'm about to hit the trail here, go up to uh, Mount Marcy, Skylight, and Gray. So we're gonna hit the trail here. Let's make our way up there. First part of the hike here, not too much to talk about, just starting down the trail. Still waking up a little bit. But once we get going and everything, be a little bit better. Starting off our hike about 5.55 a.m. See how long this one takes us, about 18 miles, 5,000 feet elevation gain overall. Seven miles. Yeah, we're going around <laughs> Avalanche Lake. So. Oh, that's a good trail. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful through there. Have a great night. You too. Right, coming up on Marcy Dam. This is really a really scenic here. used to be a little lake here until it got flooded out by Hurricane Irene and this big dam broke. I'm sure I used to go over this little bridge but it crosses further down on a little footbridge. Signs along these trails for everywhere. Okay, uh, Mount Marcy 5.1. Those no signs will point you where to go. Steep so far. Camping spot up here. But camping above this part of the trail. Alright, Phillips uh, Mountain. Trailhead Junction right here. Doing pretty good. I'm gonna go just a little bit further than this, take a little break for drinking stuff. But coming along pretty good. Nothing crazy and steep, just uh, rocky. Oh, 
bridge they built here. Two miles long, this bridge is about four miles. So, a little over halfway, according to my watch anyway. So, he's heading up uh, a little bit here is uh, Indian Falls. We'll stop there for a little break, actual break. That should be about an hour 45 minutes in or so. We'll see, two hours, something like that. Deepest it's been so far. Nothing crazy yet. Not the easiest stretch of trail right here. All rocks and roots. Plus it got uh, a little steep there after that last bridge. All right, we had a little uh, flat check in the trail. A little break from the Incline there. No, nah, maybe not so much. Looks like we got a little more. Here. Spoke too soon. All right, a few more minutes. Here's the uh, tabletop mountain trail junction. Some muddy, twisty little herd path there to follow. But right up over here, on the top of this, and right down the other side is the uh, Indian Falls. Pretty cool spot. Indian Falls, right over here. Great views over toward uh, Wright Peak, Algonquin, Iroquois Mountains over there. And down in the valley here is uh, Avalanche Mountain. We saw from uh, Marcy Dam earlier. Uh, now we're well above it. All right, not doing too bad. Uh, two hours, 15 minutes to get here. Took a little break for about 15 minutes. A little over five miles in. I'll take my glasses off to keep fogging up. All right, back on trail again. Uh, catching a little break from all the rocks for a couple minutes at least. Hopefully, get a little more of this. Those rocks, wow. It's a little bit steep back there, but it's the rocks. To really get you. Okay, our uh, short flat stretch didn't last very long. We're right back into the rocks. I guess if we're going over a mountain though, can't possibly be all nice and flat and easy.
Looking pretty close. See Mount Marcy Summit right up there. Well, we can't escape the mud first. close 1.2 miles according to the sign fortunately we gotta go down a little bit before we go back up Close. A little clearing near the summit. Nice view of the summit up there. That's where we're headed. <clears throat> Follow this trail this way a little bit until we can meet up with that ridge right over there that goes up to the summit. So, not too far, not too much further. Getting there, final summit push. Climb up this. These are the fun parts. Less steep up here. A little steeper as you go.
we're at the summit here. Summit, uh, four hours, forty five minutes. Hello, oh. <laughs> yeah, finally, huh? <laughs> Yeah. 8.1 miles. And so I was like, we made it to four. Now over to Skylight over that way. Gray. And over right down. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come right in front of Mount Cole in there and see where that slide ends up by the trail so hopefully maybe in a few weeks i'll climb up that slide a little half hour break up here nice for a little rest and head over to a skylight mountain there next that'll take us way down off of mount marcy here down there and then way up there that'll be our next stop pretty uh, cloudy and foggy out has a uh, some of the wildfire smoke in the air. Getting close to the bottom. All right, go junction here. I mean, sky, it's only half a mile from here. Oh, actually, Not I bad. Don't feel familiar. Just like the other ones. Not so much a trail as a bunch of rocks to climb up. Make sure you don't slip. Some of skylight right here. Peak number two for the day. Got to be about 6.35 up to the summit. Well, six hours and 35 minutes. Total time since I left this morning. It's uh, 12.35. That's not too bad. It's uh, a <clears throat> second half hours, basically. One more to do. Climb back down to the trail junction. We came up from this one. Go over to Gray Peak right there. And then I'll trail down toward Mount Cold and over there with the slides on it and take a trail up between those mountains and on out of here. All right, one o'clock, good little rest, and head over to Gray Peak. Now, see how that goes. Awesome place for a little 
10 minute nap up here. But I can't stay forever. All right, back at Four Corners Trail Junction here. That's not too bad, 123. That way, that's the way we came down from Mount Marcy. Warning, weather subject to severe change. Not gonna head this way. Over toward Gray Peak and, and follow the Lake Arnold Trail out. Head on back after that. So, no further ado. Here we are, we're passing by Lake Tier of the Clouds. Right up here, running under Mount Marcy. Great Peak. And this here is the official start of the Hudson River. This little marshy pond. Here's this giant rock. Old rumor has it Indian symbol on here. I don't know what it means, but please do not hike in this area, or you'll be cursed to want to hike for the rest of your life. Mount Marcy, way up there. We're gonna continue on the trail here. Just after this, there's a good shot of Lake Cheer of the Clouds. Not bad. Right after this, the trail crosses this and goes up the gray. And here we are, it's a minute later. I'll hop across these rocks and see the trail over there. All this up and see how this trail is. Steep little scramble here. And we top out that with a little bit of mud. So what fun would any of these trails be without mud? Looks like somebody was nice enough to do a little big old ladder on this one. Cool. Deep little scrambly scramble.
Considered. I'm gonna use both my hands on this and uh, I need to get my camera holder for my head or my chest holder for it. So I'm gonna put this thing away. I'm not gonna go up here one handed. It's too far of a fall. So it might possibly be a different side trail up around these cliffs. Yeah, this way looks. Hopefully a little better. I try to be somewhat safe out here. Especially when I'm hiking alone. is going to come over and meet up at the top of that other one. Well, here I'm pretty confident in getting up. Summit of Gray Peak here. The best views, but some views. Oh, it's a great view of that slide there. I don't want to check out. So that's good, but yeah, a lot of scrambles and mud on this one. I found this boulder on the top and I'm at the summit. Took a uh, Started at the trail, head for this one at 150, ended at 2.30, so 40 minutes up. It's not too bad considering I was trying to climb some work this camera. Okay, never mind that boulder apparently. 10 feet past the boulder, this little wooded area. That is considered the actual summit. These boulders don't count.
I'm gonna stop uh, just about the base of Colden. So making pretty good progress getting back. Now we'll be at the bottom of the slide soon. All right, we are at our trail junction we're looking for. According to this, we have 6.3 miles to the Adirondack Lodge. I thought it was going to be a little shorter than that, but it is what it is, and most of it's downhill at least. It's a little deep, really rocky, like most of this. On the way out. Nice area if you're ever gonna, ever gonna wanna come camping around here. But it's really popular too. Okay, we've reached the infamous floating log section of this trail. So we'll see how this goes. Luckily the water's pretty low. So that's good. Heard something about this new little cut over trail here, so let's try that. Truck goes right through this water with these logs that are just everywhere. Still so much for floating logs, here. not anywhere. Jumbled up in a pile over here. through here. That's a good little stretch like this. But I think at this point going for it here or maybe not or not I'm gonna skip right over here and hopefully this doesn't tumble me into the water all right Yep, that one over there was not going to do me any good. Alright. I think we are past. Yep. Made it. Uh, whatever I said about we made it. <clears throat> Get that for a minute because this is the trail, which is obviously not much of a trail. So hopefully, there's some sort of way around. If it had been raining in the last few days, I'm not so sure about this. Whew. All right, maybe, maybe that'll do it. Maybe not. I'm just gonna stop saying that.
Good thing I didn't say it again. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's no squirrely right there. Yeah, we're done with that. The floating logs, as it's called. The infamous section of trail. As I'm going along trail, I'm looking for maybe a herd path where that slide will let, let out here. It's our way out right there. This trail here goes up to uh, Mount Colton. No, Lake Arnold right on the other side of these trees. We're going to keep heading down. 4.9 miles to the Adirondack Lodge. About a half mile to go. Not gonna lie, a little wore out. But it was an awesome day, a great hike. I'm gonna get out here before the sun sets all the way. You know, I got two headlamps. Better not have to stop and change mountain stuff. All right, finished. 8.09 p.m. It's over almost 21 and a half miles. Pretty good hike. <laughs>